So we're here at uh, Linaro Connect, and uh, so who are you? My name is uh, Nicolas Petre, and I've been working on ARM for uh, many years now. Many years? Yes. So how long? About five, 15 years. 15 years? So, uh, so what have you been doing with ARM all this time? Well, initially I started working for a small company, company making uh, appliances for the blind. So that's our, how I got in touch with the ARM architecture. And then I made the name for myself, I became a maintainer, and uh, that's how I spent all my career working on Linux for ARM. 15 years maintainer or 10 years, how long maintainer? Oh, it's only a couple of years. Uh, at the beginning it was for platforms that I was working on and then stuff that I've been using myself and eventually I moved on to other things so I just pass on maintainership to the other people. So what, is it, what does it mean to be a maintainer? What does it mean what you're doing right now? What is, what is it? Um, right now I'm working more into core code so I'm not I'm less involved into uh, the maintainership of code supporting specific machine or devices. So uh, when you, you maintain a machine, it's more that like you want this this device to work well. You make sure that uh, every new kernel releases uh, are not breaking anything, that the drivers are up to date, and so on. So. Uh, since now I'm more working into core code, this is not necessarily related to a particular device. So, how do you how do you work? Do you work over the internet or? Yes. Well, most of the people working on Linux are Linux are distributed around the world, so we just get in touch on the mailing list, uh, depending where we live. So usually it's easier to, to use mailing lists because we don't have to be awake at the same time. It's not related to any time zone. So, so you're actually uh, using a special way to work, right? What is the system? Yeah, well, being sight impaired, I need to have this device which is used to represent in Braille the content of the screen. So this way... The content of the screen? Yeah. Just uh, the text? Yeah, just the text or any uh, text translation of what's on the screen. For example, in, in the text console, this is easy because we have direct representation of the screen content. So, uh, at, at each point, you have one line of text? What do you have? Yeah, th this is like a single line of 40 characters. So this small window can be moved onto the actual screen, left and right, up, down, and so on. So, uh, for example, there was a, what you call it, uh, where the programming happens, the console, or what's it called? Yeah, the, the text console. For example, if I uh, open VI with a, a text file, I would usually see the exact same content of what's presented on the screen. And uh, how fast is it for you to read the, the line? How, well, how, do you, how do you work? Of course, this is not as fast as if I could actually read the screen. I have to scroll this window, so this might require some latency before I can get to the exact place I, place I want to read. So you, you, you search for the place in the code you want to be? Exactly. And then you add text just with a keyboard normally. Exactly. And you uh, you have search functionality, stuff like that? I would use the, the search functionality which is implemented in the uh, text editor. This is not... Right. The, <coughs> by default, this the, the, the program driving this device is following the system con uh, cursor. So, if I move the cursor around, then the braille window will follow. So, just before I interrupted you, you were doing something. What, what were you doing? I was reading my email. Reading your email? And yeah. you were using the head headphones? Yeah, well, since I'm not a fast braille reader, I would use a speech synthesizer as well, in the same time, to read out loud things which are a large portion of text. All right, so how many people use this in the world? 
Um, I hope that very few people are using this because very blind, most of the population are not sight impaired. But those who are, um, especially if they're working into computers, most of them are using braille displays. Because com compared to a speech synthesizer, it's easier to see the structure of the code when you can see the and the, the indentation and spaces and all the spatial characters that we have. So do you do you meet other uh, blind programmers? Uh, very few, unfortunately. Uh, I know a few of them. Uh, I have a friend who's blind and working into computers. So, um, so what's the next thing? What are you gonna work? You have some some secret projects, right? Some things you cannot talk about, or do you have something you can talk about? Um, I've been working on the big little architecture that ARM just produced, and um, I I wrote an uh, NWN article about this. So that's the extent of what I can say right now. And uh, here at Inaro Connect, uh, what were you doing during this week? We're getting uh, all the Linaro assignees together just to get in touch and make sure that we are on the same page with all the, the, pro the, the project we're working on. So is Linaro awesome or is it, was it awesome already with ARM before? Or was it just getting more and more interesting, the work you're doing? I think that Lunar Rose is really awesome because you get to see people face to face instead of just getting in touch on the mailing list. So once in a while, like every three months, that's a good thing to have. Alright, cool. So uh, thanks a lot. Thanks. Thanks for the...